Now that we've done the basics and patched our lights into our system, we're gonna do some other setup in this next video, and we're also going to show you how to check to make sure your lights are all functioning properly. So when it comes to patching your lights, we did that in the last video, but what we're gonna do for the rest of the tutorials here is work within the demo show file. So that comes with Onyx, it downloads with the software, or if you're on a console, it's on there. But you wanna go ahead and also download the capture presentation file, it's a zip file right here, and then you'll unzip that. Inside there's an exe file for Windows or an app file for Mac. You can load that and it will often ask you for a bin file, which is also in that folder when you go to open it. Then you'll be given a file that looks like this. All you have to do is go into the corner here, switch it to live or control R to see visualization and make it look like mine. You can move around to get the view you want, and then we're ready to hop into Onyx and really get moving on this tutorial. Here we are back at the Onyx splash screen, and we're going to load a show. So I know we created a new show last time. Now we wanna work within the visualizer, or you can follow along with your own lighting rig at home or at a venue you work at or a church or something like that. But we're gonna load here. And in your documents slash Obsidian Onyx, and it's gonna be a similar folder in the consoles themselves, you will have a folder called samples. And inside that, there's one called patch only, Onyx 4.6 training patch only. Again, if you're doing this off a fresh install, there's gonna be like two files in this folder, not a billion like mine. So we'll go ahead and load that. And what that gives us is a pre patch show file that matches up perfectly with the 3D visualizer file that we're gonna be following along with so that you can use the 3D visualizer like it's real lighting rig, learn, test, try out, or just follow this tutorial with a real lighting rig. Either way works fine. Once the demo show file loads, it's gonna bug you about saving it because it was last saved in an older version, that's fine. And then I interestingly had a pop-up here about CITP, which is how Onyx by default connects to the capture file. What you're gonna to wanna to do to make that connection happen is go to the menu, menu, so Onyx in the upper corner, then menu, then down here on CITP, we go ahead and we turn it on here, make sure these two are flipped on at the top, on right here on my network card that is connected to the internet. Usually that works great for staying inside of the same computer, or if you have it on a different computer, the visualizer, which if you're on a console, that would be the case. You just connect to it however you're connected to that computer on that particular network interface. Then it should show right up, it should connect right away. If it doesn't, try relaunching the capture file, but typically the CITP works great. Back out of here, and we're gonna press fixture presets so we can begin working. In a basic show like this, we have our fixtures patched here in the fixtures window, and then we have a area for groups, and it's blank. Now, we also have an area with auto groups, which are built from patching. It's just the different types of fixtures in the show. And groups are really powerful and a really important part when you're working with Onyx because they allow you to select individual fixtures, groups of fixtures, and even groups with cool filters, unlike um, every other fixture, to then apply your different presets and build your cues. Now, if that all sounds foreign, don't worry, we're gonna work through it. But the basics are, then we need to build some groups because that makes our life a lot easier. So just as an example here, I'm going to select these first five front lights, these WW profiles, and I'm going to go ahead to my keypad on my console, my NXK, which is a great buy if you're an Onyx user, or I'm gonna show you here on the screen, press record, and I'm gonna press an open group button. Now I'm gonna to type to give it a name. I'm naming it front light, pressing enter, and there it goes. That's all it takes to create a group. Now if I clear and I press that group, I get the same selection. I get those same lights selected again, which it shows us in our programmer. It's also gonna show us that on the fixtures page. So groups are really powerful. I like to create a good amount of them. So now let's just say I go and I can type on my keypad 101 and the computer keypad or the console keypad is much faster than what I'm doing through 110. Enter. That gives me these 10 fixtures. And then I'm gonna record those and I'm gonna hit record group two for even faster operation. Okay, now I've got a group there. I can click on it. I've, I click to deselect it and reselect it. Now I can type, touch and type. And so I can go ahead and I can call it spots. 
Okay, and then maybe I wanna do a subset. And so in this case, I could do the grouping and I could do a mirror of four. Okay, I believe that'll give me a pretty decent grouping. And now I've got a cool mirrored where I can go and I can hit next, 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 and I get three different selections of lights. Works pretty well. This is also where you can check if your lights are working by pressing highlight and whatever is selected is going to show. I'll record this as my third group and we'll call it spots mirror. It's an odd group, but it'll work. Okay, now that we've done that, that's gonna be the process for creating even more groups. And so we'll kind of stop where we're at and just continue working on the tutorial. Um, but you'll wanna create groups for every type of fixture you have, every lighting position, um, pretty much anything you'd want to quickly select multiple fixtures at once, rather than hunting and pecking around here or typing numbers like 101 plus, you know, 104 plus 106, enter, right? You would want to go ahead and not make a typo like I did, but, you know, build that into a group so it's just a single button press, all right? With that, we've got, we now know our visualizer or our real lighting is working. We now know we've got individual fixtures and groups in Onyx. And now, in our next video, we wanna drop into presets to show you how to start to build cues. This is really key, really critical. Don't miss the next video. Thanks.